Hello and welcome. It's another product review. Something incredible this time. It's been tested, it works, and it's amazing. We've got two of them. This is from a company called JF.Egwo. E G W O. Not sure how you meant to say it. JF Egwo. Multifunction jump starter. Right? We have got two here. It's a multifunction because it will jump start your van and it will do um, the air in your tyres. You can blow up kayaks with these. Useful for a lot of things. We've got two. A 3000A and a 4000A. That one's been put to the test already. So let's start with the 3000A. Comes in a lovely little bag. Open it up. And there it is. Just a lovely little box. Okay. I'm not going to go into details on this one because it's pretty much just a smaller version to that one. So I'm going to talk about that one. But that is the 3000 version, which has everything in that bag which is in here. So let's open this up because the bag itself is beautiful. Lovely little case. Are you ready for this? Ta-da! Oh, it's got a bit of... Uh, <laughs> What's the word, Mazzy? Road dust, because it has actually been No, tested. it's not dust, it's no. condensation. Oh, condensation. <laughs> bit of damp oh. condensation on it, because it's been in the boot <laughs> of his car. So this is the 4000. Now this is the only problem I found the other day, getting it out of the form middle. We'll get there. There we go. So there it is again, a little box. But this has power, a lot of power. And I'll go into that in more detail very shortly. So that is in the case. We also get a charger, a straightforward plug socket, AC plug socket with a tiny little connector there. We have a 12 volt charging lead there. We've got four connectors, instructions, and in here we have got the crocodile clip jump starter leads, an extension for the air tyre pressure. And a little free gift, which we thought, ooh, we need one of them. Yeah, I've been wanting one of them for a long time, haven't <laughs> just we? A, ow, a little iron brush. Just stabbed myself with it. Yeah, perfect. I was wanting one of them for a job, and I can't remember what the job was. <laughs> anyway, that's what comes inside this lovely, lovely little box. So let's take it inside, and I'll run through exactly what the machine does uh, and where you stick all these bits. So I've got all the leads out and everything. Let's just run through this so you can have a quick look around. It's so simple. It looks like a complicated machine, but it is simple. You have got an on-off button there. You have got two charging USB ports there, one slightly more powerful than the other one. You have got your power lead in there. Your display there. Um, you have got your... Uh, inflate button for doing your tyres there. You have a display here where you can change from PSI to bar and turn it up and down. Very simple. And this is where you would put in your 12 volt plug to charge it that way. And that is all. Oh, and two lights on this side. And a little port for your jump start leads. So let's just see it all in action. So I'm going to turn it on, press the button there, and as you can see, it is 75, I don't know if you can see it actually. Yeah. It's 75% charged, and it says out. So that's ready to work as a, a compressor or as a jump starter. To charge it, uh, let's just plug this in. Where are we going? charge it just plug that in there and it's now flashing in 
This goes up in 25, so you've got 25, 50, 75 and 100. Whatever you do, don't try and jump start with it on 25 or lower. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> I it's, don't know if it'll blow up. It's actually a warning written yeah. on there. There is yeah. a warning on there, yeah. So that is charging at the moment. It's on 75% uh, and it is on. So, shall we just show them how you would jump start it to start with? Yeah. Let's just do that because it is so simple. Let's just unplug the charger, right? It is turned on, right? Mm -hmm. So all you would do, lift that up, stick that in there, make sure these don't touch, whatever you do. Oops, dropping things. Attach it to your car, your negative and your positive. Turn your key and it will start. It will start. If you've got a flat battery, it will work. You know how we work, how we know this? <laughs> We've tested it. Um, we're on a campsite at the moment and somebody got a flat battery the other day. Had left his keys in the ignition overnight and got a flat battery. We'd been out. Whilst we were out, he'd got two other people off the campsite to try and jump start him. A big truck. Neil tried a battery charger thing to recharge like the battery. Like a trickle charger. Yeah, yeah that yeah, didn't that work. For four hours, that didn't work. Yeah. The RAC were called. <laughs> yes, the breakdown company were on the way, but they said there'd be three hours. Yeah. And then we arrived. Says, oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. We've got something what might work. Yeah. Um, we haven't had it out of the box yet. We don't know if it's got any charge in it or anything, um, but we could give it a go. Yeah. So we did. And we filmed it. Not much, we didn't film much, but uh, here is us attempting this for the first time. So, incredibly, and this is not set up, uh, we have a flat battery on a car, trying to pull a caravan. So, we've said we're gonna get this out. We haven't charged it up. It might be a flat battery. It's straight out of the box. Um, We've got the black on there, it's plugged in there, put the red on there and then see what happens. So out of the box, the um, jump cables um, are separate, so that's had to be plugged in. And what we need to do here now is find out how or whether that turns on, which I don't know. So we've not read any of the instructions, have we, Dan? We have literally taken this out of the box. We don't know what we're doing. You're trying to hurry before the RA is here. That's the air pump that done. Mm -hmm. We've not got a flat tyre. There's a difference between a flat tyre and a flat battery. So if you have a flat battery, you can't use an air pump on it, Dan. Yeah, I understand that. Are but is it, a f is it a case of putting them in and then turning the key on the ignition? That's what I'm, we're going to try and just dub double check before we uh, make any mistakes. Killer Dave, this is his car. I'll kill the battery. <laughs> yeah. So for this to work, uh, it needs to be at 50% power. We don't know if it has. Unbelievable! So I, I, I eat my words, and I am really impressed with that. Seriously, um, That's impressed amazing. with that. Isn't that incredible? No, seriously, that that that. So we've actually had that battery on charge on a, on a conventional charger for about. Four hours, five hours, something like that, and it's not pulled or, or cranked over anything, has it? No. Um, no. And what did it need? I've had two two cars trying. Two cars have tried that. Tried we it. come along. What you need is a travel troll. <laughs> How much are you charging him? Um, what did it say? It has to be fifty percent. Yeah, well, well, we had an emergency call out fee, but it has to be fifty percent to charge. So that's fifty quid per minute. Uh, how long do you want us to run it for? Fifty pound a minute. Fifty pound a minute, about a second. A second, yeah. So that that's that's re really remarkable. So what's that? Four thousand ampage on that one. So that's that. Yeah. I'll well, give credit where credit's due. That's, 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 that's brilliant. A, that's, that's a thumbs And up. don't forget. I don't know how you work it, but it's got lights. I'm yeah. more excited by lights, mm. to be honest with you. No, so that's the handy. So if you break down and you're in, you're in the dark, you've got lights on it. You, you can charge up your phone on it as well. So you've got um, high-speed USB. Is that the? 
I'm not too sure. It might be because that's plugged in. And it's an air compressor as well for, um, for your tyres. So that's a handy bit of kit, that. Um, so that's the air pressure. And is that the torch? So you know what we've got to do? Cancel the RAC. Cancel the yeah. RAC now. Quickly, quick. Quickly. Get gonna charge, gonna we're going to charge you a fortune. The RAC has come out because it's got a flat battery. It said it could take up four hours to get out here. Up oh, to really? four hours to get here. Yeah. We've sorted it out in two seconds. Thank you to jf.egwo. And Neil. I connected that. So we know for a fact this works and it is incredible. The guy who broke down, uh, Dave, he was so impressed, he went online, he wanted to buy one. He uh, offered to buy that offers actually. He wanted actually. to buy this offers. Yeah, and, yeah. We're, not. <laughs> and we're not. I think it. everybody needs one of these, whether it be a car, motorhome, whatever, everybody needs one. I think the main reason I want one, I know it sounds silly, you know, if you get a flat tyre, you want to be able to start, and you can with that. That is going to work, believe me. Even the 3000, no problem whatsoever. Um, but for me, I think it's going to be used more helping other people out. Yeah, Because, yeah. you know, our engine, our batteries are pretty good. Um, but especially on campsites, there's a lot of other vehicles on there. Yeah. Um, and some of them are parked up for a week or two on the campsites and you do often see people It quite happens on battery. campsites, yeah So I just think for us to be keeping this in our motorhome it's going to help a lot of people out Like I said though, it, it, it is used for cars and everything, isn't it? it you can use this it. isn't just a motorhome item, is no, no, it? No, 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 you can use it for anything which has a 12 volt battery You can do lorries with it as long as it's got a 12 volt battery all right. Oh, I see. That's the important thing. But I think all cars and yeah, I think most of them have twelve volt batteries anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's the main reason we want it. I think to help other people out. I think that's when it's going to get used. So that is showing these working. Incredible. As I said, he went on to Amazon. He was looking at them. He was thinking of getting one. Um, and I can't blame him. You know, if you get a flat battery and you use yeah. this you'll know why you want one um even neil the campsite warden yeah we've got a wasp in here <laughs> we have got a wasp i have noticed though the wasps tend to just have a quick look round and then fly out of the door there you go there it goes yeah the flies just stay in here for three days <laughs> yep even neil the campsite warden was so impressed with this he was considering getting one just to keep on campsite because like dan was saying it does happen on campsite a lot, doesn't it? It does. It does. Right, um, let's move on to its other function, which is for doing the tyres. Or any air, basically. It comes with these connectors. And these are just extra connectors, I believe. It's for a bicycle... No, a football, sorry. Yeah. For mm -hmm. balls. Um, for a bicycle... And them two are for things like um, dinghies, um, inflatable, inflatable boats, yeah. inflatable surfboards, <laughs> things like that. So you've got different adapters. Um, and then you've got, oh, and obviously you've got your 12 volt, so that would just go into there. And you can plug that into your cigarette lighter to charge it a different way so you can try charge it whilst you're driving as well yeah that's handy which isn't is it? very handy yep. right so on the if i turn this on this light comes on now one thing i will say slight negative it's very very slight when you're out in direct sunlight it's quite hard to see this yeah i've noticed um compared to the 3000 the LECD. Which is more of a blue and it's easier yeah. to see. It's, it won't really show up on there, but that's really bright, whereas that seems a bit dimmer. Oh, that's another thing. The on off, you don't actually even turn it off, it just turns itself off automatically after I think two and a half minutes. <laughs> so like, a, like a shutdown. Like so a shutdown, yeah. 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 That's good. So, as, and again, you know, in emergencies, you can charge your phones, 
yeah. uh, laptops, anything like that. I think it takes, you know, I'm just going off the top of my head now, I think it's about six hours to charge it completely. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. Um, so moving on to this dial here. This is for your air pressure. Yeah. So at the moment it's on bar. It's got KPA. I don't know what that what that is. I've never heard of a KPA reading. And PSI. So people in Britain always use PSI or bar. And it's just a matter. The targets here look 2.9. 3, 3.2, set it, and away you go. It's ready. It's as simple so as So it that. automatically does it then to that pressure that to you've that requested. Yeah. Oh, that's good, yeah. And to do this, we've not tried this yet, turn it on. Oh, I forgot the lights. Should I quickly go on to yeah. the lights? Yeah. Right, it's got two lights here. To turn them on, is it one long? That's it. One Ooh, long. That's bright, yeah. <laughs> puts the two lights on. <laughs> press it again. SOS lights. Yep, that's good. Very handy. Different and uh, strobe lights. Because you could be broken down yeah. at night. Yeah. Very handy for that. Yep. You know, if you are going to be doing your car out here, you, you, it'd be nice to have that flashing while you're working or a light on to stop to let other traffic know. So, underneath here then, I haven't had this off yet, so that is where your air pressure is going to go, come out. This is the extension, which I'm guessing just screws straight onto there, and I'm guessing now, how do I turn it on? There, look. So, inflate with wireless. Yeah. Inflate with adapter. So if you've got this plugged in, for example, to your cigarette lighter at the time, you'd press that button. So yes, it says on here, inflate with wireless or inflate with adapter. Now with adapter, I'm guessing it's meaning undo that, stick your thing in there and stick it into your cigarette lighter. Okay? I don't like doing this, and I'll tell you why. We've had a few air compressor unit things, cheap ones, admittedly, and they've blown the fuse in the cigarette lighter. Yeah. So it's always put me off using that. Yeah. You don't have to with this, and that's the beauty of it for me. Um, so we're going to be inflating this without any wires. So I have put the PSI in as 65, because I've just read it on the tyre itself. Uh, we're not sure if that's right or not, so I don't know if I'm going to do it too much. I just want to see this working, so let's take that off. Stick this on. Come on, get in here, you. <laughs> Stick that on. How do you do this? I'm guessing that's it. Easy peasy. Oh, it's turned itself off, hang on. Uh, so where are we at the minute on our pressure? PSI 65, <coughs> it's on 64. Yep. So if we start it now... <coughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> so we just needed one more PSI in there and it's done it within that... about three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh, there goes your one. There goes me one. <laughs> Take that off. Stick the cap back on. Jobs are good in. I am so impressed with this, Mazzy. This really is a lifesaver for us. A lifesaver, literally, for a lot of people. Let's check them all. Do we need to check them all? We do. Come on, then. So now we know what we're doing, just to give you a very, very, very quick demonstration press the button to turn it on it's on plug this in the side there make sure these don't touch put one on your negative one on your positive you don't have to do anything else with that all you have to do then is go in turn your key and it will start simple so there you have it the 4000 and the 3000 a 
We're not even sure what the A stands for. Is it's basically bigger? I'm guessing just because it's got holds a bigger battery, it'll last longer on a charge. That's my only guess. Um, but an um, absolutely magnificent product. You know, even if you don't want one for yourself, think of other people, the people you could save this winter. They're a life changer, aren't they? An emergency, absolute emergency piece of kit every, everybody needs in their boot. There's no better feeling than helping someone start their vehicle. That's yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> so, you know, I'll leave a link in the description to this company. Yeah. What do you think, Mazzy? Absolutely fantastic. I'm over the moon with it. We do yep. get a lot of products to review, but this is up there in the top three, I think, for useful things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Very impressed. So, JF Eggwo, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Uh, thank you for sending <laughs> thank us Thank you, yes. Thank you, thank you for getting them out so quick. Um, I did say I'm off to Spain, so I can get them out as soon as possible. They were here the next day, I think. Um, and I hope you like this review, guys. So consider yeah. it, get on their website, check them out if you want more details. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all later. Bye bye.